Hello. Today, Brandon, what are we doing? Where right. are we? All right, so we? we are at Epcot Center, and we are finally, 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 we got reservations for Space 220. Yay! We are so excited. We've been wanting to go here. Yes, we've seen photos. We've seen videos. Um, we've read a lot, but uh, we have wanted to go here. Yes. As everyone knows, the reservations are hard to get. They are hard to get, and let's, let's be real. Brandon loves all things space. I love so all things space. he's keeping it on the DL well, right now, I, but he really, really is excited. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I was, in, I was at, in astronaut school, as everyone knows. Um, one of my favorite movies as a kid was Space Camp. Don't watch it as an adult. It doesn't hold up. But um, it's amazing. Max and Jinx, friends forever. Um, a lot of Star Wars references in that. But we are here when Sarah finally got our reservations. I'm going to say it. I said it out loud. I literally said it out loud, posted it on my Facebook. But does everyone remember 2010, the greatest film of the year, Tron Legacy? Um, <laughs> by the way, de-aging is that is, in that is not as bad as people think it is. But anyway, Clue, Jeff Bridges, but like Clue, says, out there is a new world. Out there is our victory. Out there is our destiny. <laughs> and we're finally here. Our destiny has arrived. Space 220. Space 220 <laughs> is our destiny. We're here. We're hopeful. You're going to get an honest review, of course. Yeah. You always do. We're hoping we love it. If we don't love it, you're going to hear it. And uh, that'll be a sad, sad time for us. But we got our sci-fi sci dining shirt. Space. We got a shirt from the game, uh, The Outer Worlds. Leave a comment if you played The Outer Worlds. It's awesome. But are we ready to check in? To infinity. And beyond. <laughs> our destiny. All right, so we're going in. It's our time. We're heading to outer space. Hopefully there's no catastrophes. We've all seen Alien and everything, but we are going in and it's going to be exciting. All right, so we're all checked in. We're going for launch. We're going for launch. And Sarah, if you want to show that, maybe you can hold it up. We have our pass for the Centauri Space Station. Does everyone remember the best show of all time, Babylon 5, the Centauri? They were the first aliens to contact humanity, but they were at war with the Narn for horrible reasons. But anyway, Babylon 5. Centauri. All right, oh, let's go. You'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. Enjoy the ride. We'll do a full debrief, but not since 
Escape from Green Guts, and Diagon Alley at Universal Orlando, have I truly felt transported somewhere. Again, maybe this is how the Galactic Star Cruiser feels. We don't know yet. Uh, but this, this, I, we're in space, right, Sarah? I mean, yeah, we are in space. Yeah, again, my, my brain is, my logical brain is going to shut down right now because I feel like we just went, by the way, the 220 in space 220 is for 220 miles up, right? Yes. So we just traveled 220 miles and we're at the back of the space station looking out. We have a view of pretty much every window. Um, we're not right up on them, but this is a perfect seat. Um, th this is great. I, uh, again, who knows how the food's going to be? I don't know. Um, but in terms of theming, and yeah, this is all, this is far better than looking out at Disney or Orlando, at least because we've done that enough. So. Oh, there's astronauts out there. Yeah, there's astronauts. Again, it's hard to see. Oh, what that's cool. We'll have to go up close I'll later. I'll see this even before we debrief on this entire experience. There is no doubt that I don't care our videos or anyone else's videos you've seen. Nothing does this justice. This is awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, there's more astronauts out there. There's a station out there. This is crazy. Yeah. This I'm going to pan like, for a minute. I've seen in my presentations of what it looked like with the screen. I mean, space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's visibility of space outside. Yes. Um, but so far, so good. We are, we talked with our server, Matt. Matt. So, speaking of our server, Matt, who just Matt chatted just with out. us with the manager, they were just confirming our special dietary needs and our options. Yeah. So, I think we're good to go. Yeah, Matt, Matt's been really we good at I, I don't mean actually like, oh, we didn't yeah, think any server good. wouldn't be. But he's been no, really good, good conscientious. This particular space restaurant is not owned and operated by the Disney company. So no, it's, it's by the Centauri. They don't. It is by <laughs> no. the Centauri company. So <laughs> it's always good to know that even a non-Disney owned property can still make sure that they can accommodate their special dietary needs. Yeah. It might be a little bit different in the way that they communicate that and right. their allergy menu, but still but simple. So of, and one of our favorites, Yak and Yeti, isn't run by Disney. That's true. So, so yeah, we're excited and we're getting drinks. Yeah. And we're doing the three courses. We oh, yeah, we'll explain lounge. that later, right? Yeah, we'll talk right? about that later yeah. we were a lounge menu, but we can order both the lounge or the regular menu. Which is kind of better than not coming to the lounge, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we're seated in the regular section. So. Yeah, we're not even in the lounge yeah. section, which is fine by us. The lounge section looks great, too, which yeah, we might get some footage great. later. It's over over there. But uh, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, that is cool. Thank you. Right, so drinks came, drinks came and, and I don't know if Sarah's going to insert it before or after. But yeah, so, so I got the, the Atmos Spritz, which is kind of a take on the Aperol Spritz, which I love, but this one had cotton candy in it. Because yeah. up in space, things get crazy. And they have to be able to package appropriately, and cotton candy is lighter to travel with. I'm going with it. I'm going. So go I'm with going that. with it. Um, and free strike, maybe. So <laughs> I am foreseeing this drink. You all know I don't love super sweet drinks, but I love Aperol spritzes. So I am envisioning a very sweet Aperol spritz. Oh no, it's actually not as sweet as I. It's a little on the sweet side. Okay. It's not as sweet as I thought. It tastes like a slightly sweeter Aperol spritz. So, I love the presentation. That was so fun. Yeah. It's just something unique um, and something different and pretty busy. <laughs> so. Yeah, I like this. It's There's some remnants of the uh, cotton candy there, which is a little weird, but okay. overall, this is an awesome drink. Awesome. It's, it was such a fun presentation and a take on a drink I really like awesome. already. So, not as sweet as I thought. I'm happy. I'm trying a tiny sip of Sarah's. We haven't shared any food yet or anything. So. I just wanted to see what he thought of this one. And nope. I don't think so, everyone. Um, I can see why Sarah likes it. I can actually see why most people would like it. It's very, very sweet, right? Well, you, know, you said it wasn't. It wasn't as sweet as I was expecting. It is still sweet for an apple. It's sweet. Um, not bad. I, I wouldn't order it. But she says it's great, believe her, okay? Because I got something. Let me get some water. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. We love the glasses here, too. I got too. the is Orion Old Fashioned. Old Fashioned. The Orion. And look at the Cuban. Oh, Orion's belt. Yep. That's where it is. From um, Men in Black. Does everyone remember <laughs> yeah. Men in Black? Speaking of Cube, does everyone remember the Canadian film Cube? 
which was great. By the way, everyone in Cube, all their names are named after prisons. It's important. Oh but my gosh. So if you watch Cube, all the characters' names are named after prisons, famous prisons. Oh my goodness. So Orion, Old Fashioned. Also, you're going to get every space reference, every space movie reference we've ever seen. Back of my nose is burning. <laughs> It's delicious. It's old fashioned. It tastes a little. That chocolate, I think, and chocolate bitters. I was going to say, is there a sweet chocolatey flavor? Yeah, I think there's chocolate bitters. Yeah. I think the only, I'm being very minor, if you watched our uh, review of um, Enchanted Rose. Oh, yeah, the Enchanted Rose last. Same issue there. I believe it was there, Sarah. I'm going to say the same issue here. Tiny? Yeah. I mean, and I expensive. Said it stiff, so it's like, a, yeah. This wasn't cheap, which is fine. But if you're going to pay what you pay, maybe up to here. Does that make sense, everyone? Oh, um, delicious. Recommended. Just know that you're not getting a lot. Um, delicious. Sarah's is quite a bit. Yeah, I would say the portion of this yeah. is definitely that, quite sizable. Although, I'm not going to lie. Due to the fact you might not come back here for a while, do I need to try another drink? I know. They also have drinks that have trading cards with them. Yeah. And I, I want the trading might, cards. Yeah, we might get another drink tonight. We don't know. We'll play that by ear. If we don't, we're sorry. But, yeah, this is good. All right. Appetizers came. We are both freaking out. Sarah, what did I get? You got the burrata, the which burrata. is a mozzarella cheese. Mo look at this, everybody. I don't, look at this. It looks amazing. Yeah, I don't even know what to do. So, it is a... First of all, we all know Brandon loves cheese. Yeah. So this is a giant thing. This is awesome. That's a really quick. Matt came by again to make sure we're doing okay. Matt's been awesome. Yeah. Everyone, yeah, if you're ever... Matt is Facebook, amazing. Yeah, if you're ever up in orbit... Geosynchronous orbit because we're not moving, we're moving with the Earth because we're connected to the Earth. That's geosynchronous. Oh my gosh! By the yeah. way, Brandon is not only a man of the sea; I'm, I'm he's a also a man of the space. I'm, I'm a man <laughs> of the cosmos. Of the cosmos. All right, so I'm just gonna try a bite of this. Yeah, but while he's doing that, Matt has been awesome. Even the uh, person who brought oh my our food God. has been oh my awesome. God. Hold on. Is it good? Hold on. I want you to try the other stuff though, too, Brandon. I know the cheese is probably the star. Oh, hold on. I almost got this, but I thought we needed to have different kinds of things so we could show you. Because that's also a gluten-free option as well. Is it? You know? Not dairy-free, of course. Not dairy-free, but it is a gluten-free option. Um, there's several salads that are options as well. Mm. You love a salad, too? Oh, my gosh. What is happening? The salad is awesome. The cheese is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Brandon, who are you in the salad? I think the first bite I took, I combined them. Combined, combined them in. Combined them both. Try that again. So, I guess a winner. I get this every time. Obviously, if you don't like cheese, it's not for you. If you like cheese or love cheese, remember, the moon is made of green cheese. Is it green cheese or just cheese? I think just cheese. What's the saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, but. We're going to go back to space. Yeah, we're going to space. Um, the Man on the Moon, the movie First Man was amazing with Ryan Gosling. But, um, is that Ryan Gosling? Yes. Anyway, anyway, Sarah needs to try hers. I'm sorry. I don't want to trail off too much. This is amazing. I want to dig in more, but I want Sarah to try hers. So Sarah's appetizer. Yeah, good. so I ended up getting the tuna tartar, which they did have to modify um, for me being gluten-free, but I'm super interested. On our most recent cruise, you will recall, yeah. I had the tuna avocado tower, which is basically what I'm having right now, so we're going to compare. So this is going to be gluten-free, also dairy-free as well. Um, I do think, again, they had to modify, they couldn't have the crisp and some other things. Mm. Okay. Now, like many things, like tuna towers, it's missing a few components. I would love, love some soy sauce, there is no soy sauce in it, but the avocado is nice. What's really bringing it home is actually this like citrusy kind of dressing around the side. That's actually giving a lot of brightness and freshness to it uh, and giving a more depth of flavor, which is what I had challenges with at Enchanted Garden because it was like, it's a little one melt, but yeah. the tuna's very good quality, the avocado's great, the sauce, bring it home. Okay. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice little solid appetizer. I would like to try either the burrata next time or something else, but it's good to know that there's a variety of options. And in fact, Matt said pretty much everything is pretty easy to make gluten-free. Yeah. They can even do gluten-free pasta here, yep. which is pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm going to dig it. They're I like awesome. it. Very refreshing. Let's both enjoy. All right, so entrees came. We're excited. I got what the filet. 
mashed potatoes and everything. Plating's awesome. We love the plates here. I wish we wish we could own them. But really quick bite of the fillet. Mm. Yeah, so Brandon got kind of a standard fillet. Yeah, uh, they did check good. the sauce, so it looks like he's good with that. Green beans, mashed potatoes, carrots. One more bite. I don't think it's going to be fancy, but I'm curious not if fancy. it's just kind of like just decent fillet. It's not decent, it's above average. Oh, okay, um, that's good. So more than decent fillet, it's not going to rise to the top of Topolino's or Citrico's or... Where Turf Club. Say? Turf Club, Yachtman Steakhouse, yeah. it's not that everyone, um, but it's absolutely really good. I can't say absolutely delicious of course, but it's really good. So, yeah, awesome. so I tried the potatoes. Awesome, awesome. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. You know, Brandon is a potato connoisseur, even in space. Potatoes are also very soft. Um, really good. Yeah, and because Brandon Needs all the potatoes all the time. We order the potato wedges on the side. We will be splitting shortly yeah. so we don't cross contaminate. But. I do a clean fork so I can yep. pop some over for you. Well, Sarah to dive into hers. Now. Oh, yeah, and we cannot wait to share the presentation yep. from mine. So cool. All right. Okay, so my entree, I have the salmon. It came with some baby bok choy, some maitake mushrooms, and some carrots, and a burp walk. First of all, that sounds delicious, but then on top of that, they um, put some smoke in it. We saw, yeah. just we had such a cool presentation. So they put a cloche on it and then they had um, some smoke in there. So it smelled phenomenal when it came out. So I'm super excited. Mm. Okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's genuine smell. from Sarah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not super heavy. Salmon is cooked well. Um, I love the smoke flavor in it. You can really taste you the smoke. You can really taste the smoke flavor. Awesome. I love that. Does everyone remember the Mortal Kombat character? Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is that you're biting into? Stay away, Brandon. It's cabbage. Oh. I have all the things Brandon can't have on this plate. Right yeah, now. literally, I can't have anything on this plate. Hold on one second. So, what do you. It's this. This is cabbage, yeah. Gotcha. Smoke to flavor. I love the hint of smoke. The hint of smoke. Mm -hmm. Salmon is great. The burp block is really nice and light. This, of course, does contain dairy with the burp block, but they can easily modify it to be dairy free, which I love. So if you are dairy free and gluten free, that's an easy modification. They'll just omit the burp block for you. I'm going to try the potato wedges real quick. Which I have not yet. Ah. And then very quickly, Sarah's going to try her second drink. And I'm going to go down to mine. They're on my. This is my plate, but these are the potato wedges. You are going to love those. Okay. They are made in a dedicated fryer. We just double check that. Yep. The seasoning with the salt on it is so good. You are going to love those. But. What else did we get? I have round two. Fight. Round two. Fight. So I got the Cosmo. Brandon also got another. It's going to be hard to get foot. Oh, we already got foot. Yeah. All right. So. I guess since we figured we're not going to be back in space anytime soon. Yeah, it's sp give it a space is hard to get to. It's expensive. It's far away. So. It's kind of a standard Cosmo. Okay. I wouldn't say it's anything fancy. Everyone remember Cosmo Kramer from, <laughs> from Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Why can't I think of it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is fine. Space Seinfeld. I probably should have gotten something more spacey, but I wanted something that wasn't that's no, fair. You're trying something, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's not bad. Awesome. If you like Cosmos, it's, it's a decent All right. one. Um, an additional strong one. So Sarah might be coming out of space. And I also got tips. Sarah's already tips tips. I am not, and I'm on. I'm going to be going to my second drink in just a minute. All right, so really quickly, I'm just going to try the what, potato wedges. Yes. Why I put them on a fork, I don't know. Why wouldn't you put them on a fork? Well, Brandon, we'll just, they're good, right? Those, those might be the star. Hold on. That might be the there Hold it on. is of this Hold meal on. right now. Let's find out. I'm confident. And everything else is very solid, but those potato wedges, there it is. I'm, I'm calling it right now. Wow. Perfectly seasoned. There it is. You can't say there it is. Nope, I'm not, I'm not. Okay. There it is. MC squared. <laughs> 
What's that one? P equals MC squared. Plus <laughs> potato. Okay. Oh no. Potatoes equals mass times light squared. I think that's what it means. I don't know, but Einstein basically said something like you can't go faster than light or relativity. Faster you go, slower time dilation, whatever. But what Einstein did not ever consider the relativity of the is potato? the relativity of the potato. So um, had he done that, science might be very different right now. But this is potatoes are awesome. Can you try a drink? Yeah, really quick. I got the Nebula. Yes. Yeah. This has a Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark. And, and we want to get eaten. Now, we're not trying to rush, but yeah. potatoes are this no, is great. I think we're both really just pleasantly surprised. I would say nothing here is so super fancy or anything like that, but okay. everything is very solid. To me, this tastes like Maker's Mark mixed with orange juice, and it's really good. I think I like the Orion better, um, the, but I think you're getting more for your money here, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, if you can only pick one, go with the Orion, but just know you're going to drink it in like two sips. Um, but this is very solid, this is good, and I think this might make me tipsy. <laughs> Sarah already is, but we're going to dig in, enjoy the dinner, and get footage, and then we'll be back with our dessert. And Sarah, I, we normally don't talk about the restrooms, but I've used the restrooms. They're so fun. They're kind of cool, right? They're cool, and I also love the little announcements they do yeah, here it's, about yep, gravity yep. Yep. goes away. And there's like a background it. humming, so you're, it's like you feel yeah. like you're actually in space it's still. I mean, we are in space. But, uh, but yeah, it's really cool to, again, we don't talk about the bathrooms too often, but also the placards in front of the bathroom yeah, for the men, women, and the uh, companion, I believe, or restrooms. Uh, cool little placards and everything. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Right, so desserts came, and what did I get? Chocolate? Just chocolate gelato. What is gelato? Is ice cream. Why do they call it gelato? Is it Italian ice cream? So it's ice cream made in Italy. Yeah, gelato is... I'm just very confused. Oh my cool. gosh, it's ice cream. Yeah, and Brandon really, we were thinking about what would be a good option very for peanut chocolatey. tree nut, and he very was like, chocolatey. I just want some chocolate ice cream. Yeah, very chocolate, extremely chocolatey. I might love it. And you know from the cruise, sometimes Brandon just wants ice cream, so. The only thing that would make this better, I mean the only thing, would be some chocolate sauce. Oh, okay. Um, this is really solid. If you're going to get this, make sure you like chocolate. <laughs> you need to like chocolate. Yeah, there's but, also vanilla gelato okay. and a lemon sorbet. All right, awesome. So really good. I want Sarah to try hers now. Oh, so much chocolate. Sarah's chocolate, full. Chocolate, chocolate. So much chocolate. Yeah, let's go down. So our server, Matt, talked me into the uh, chocolate cheesecake, which can be uh, modified gluten-free. There's just, I think, very, one very simple modification. I can't remember what it was, but... Um, it looks amazing. It actually does. Can I say something really quick? Yeah. Does everyone remember? I forget what year Sarah might put a caption in. 2000? 2002? I don't know. The sci-fi miniseries, Dune, the, well, she just tore it apart. But this part, oh, no. part looked like the uh, Benny Gesserit headdress thing. Um, not talking about David Lynch's oh, Dune no. or um, um, Villeneuve's Dune. Was that? He was. But yeah, so uh, the sci-fi miniseries oh, Dune so kind of looks like the headdress of Benny Jesuit. Right? So anyway. there is a bunch of different gluten-free options. They are not part of the menu, but if you talk to your server um, or the chef or manager, you can get some different modifications. Yep. There's lemon sorbet. There is a coconut milk panna cotta, which is gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. I opted not to get that because you all know I don't love creme brulee and I don't love panna cotta. Um, but this was the other creme option. Brulee. Oh, creme brulee. So I'm excited to try this. To me, it looks great. Oh, okay. That looks like a good response. Yeah, it's like chocolate cheesecake. Okay. It's really rich. It's actually not as sweet as I was anticipating, but really nice flavor. I love kind of the cream cheese and like chocolatey, almost like a mousse in some ways. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I'm going to assume this is almond. Really yeah, it's pretty tasty. I like right. it. I feel very full right now. Yeah, I do too. I'm a little bit in a space fog, but overall, I've been very impressed with the different options that we've had here. The space and the, fog. And the quality of the flavors yeah. and everything. Do you... I might take a nap. Space fog? Do you feel like you're in a space ball? Like space balls? Space balls. Uh, comb the planet. <laughs> 
Spaceballs. Right. All the well, merchandise. Spaceballs the restaurant. <laughs> Dinner's done. It was amazing. It was so good. We, we got to head down to Earth, but we just really want to quickly. There's a little room here as you walk it's into the main. Cellar. It's the wine cellar. We got footage of it. And on the way in, the guy that sat us down was like, "Yeah, in case of emergency, you can rent glass." So, but very cool. But we're gonna be heading down to the uh, space elevator, mm -hmm. heading back down to Earth, and debriefing. I don't want to go. I don't want to go either. Right? This is awesome. Welcome back. Watch your step as you enter the elevator. We will be on our way shortly. So we just returned to Earth and we were truly on Space 220. We were 220 miles up. I, I could go on and on. Sarah, go ahead. And Sarah's a tiny bit tipsy. I am too, but I'm a little bit tipsy. She's a little bit tipsy. <laughs> also, um, it's been raining here. On yeah, it's been Earth. raining on Earth. So we Did might try to space. make this very fast. Yeah, but um, I, you saw it all. Yeah. This might actually genuinely be a short debrief because we said what we had to say. Highest of high recommends. Uh, but go ahead, Sarah. Then I got some stuff to say. Yeah, I will definitely say we definitely recommend it. Um, the overall theme, incredible. One of the best. I, yeah, I think we the were theme space. overall was amazing. It's really hard to translate it from video to in person. So if you are thinking about Space 220, you should go because yeah. it's amazing and it's hard to describe what it's it looks hard. like yeah. in person versus video. Um, food. I would say overall, I was really impressed above with average. the special. It was above average, but uh, I was really yeah. impressed with the special dietary needs accommodations. Um, they seemed very concerned. They really wanted to make sure we had options, okay. but also talk through those options so that we knew what we could get. And then also we felt safe and comfortable with the yeah. food. So that was really awesome. We did not talk directly to a chef. We did talk to the manager mm -hmm. along with our server, Matt. Matt was out. Who was phenomenal. Matt probably sh should be a chef. I don't know, but he was outstanding. He was very good. Very conscientious. Conscien conscientious. Are you Con sure you're Conscientious. Not I just said it um, <laughs> about food allergies. Yeah, super amazing, um, but you can talk to a chef. So if mm -hmm. you don't feel comfortable doing the manager discussion or your server, you can talk to a chef. Um, but I felt like Space 220 really tried to make sure that we both yeah. had options we felt good with, we felt comfortable with, and we thought were tasty as well. Yeah, so, so outstanding. And like I said early in the video, and I meant it, not since Escape from Gringotts at Harry Potter, Wizarding World, Harry Potter, Magical World, at Universal Orlando, has have I been fully transported somewhere else, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, the theme was amazing. The theme was amazing. And, and the screen, the view of space is better than any videos kind yeah, of show. Yeah, the, the screens there of space are amazing. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're there. There's all sorts of fun stuff that you yeah. get to see there. So look around, yeah. watch and see how things change. But I want to go back again. Already. Yeah, I want to go back, um, try some different stuff. But food was very, very, very yeah, solid. Yeah, very good. Also, the, I the think, fries were awesome. The potato yeah, wedges. Yeah, we did upcharge the potato wedges. So that was an additional mm -hmm. side. I will say in terms of, so we did the fixed price menu, which was $79 a person for three courses. That is pricey. It a is credits. a little bit cheaper. <laughs> a lot of space dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit cheaper at lunch. You can also, if you do the lounge, order lounge items. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe we'll do that next time, do yeah. some drinks and some lounge items. But... I want to come back again. I want to come back, yeah. <laughs> so, it was uh, really fun. It was a good experience. Great experience. And it was I would worth love to try wait. some different yeah. options. I love the presentation. I love the style. Also, quick note, 
Uh, we did ask about the trading cards because they oh, do yeah. have some really cool trading cards here. We thought about trying to cargo get those ship. with the cargo ship is having issues, supply issues. Yeah. So it's not just on Earth with supply issues. Even even in space. In space, there's some supply issues. But um, so they were great out experience. of the trading cards. Yeah. Today. Uh, food well above average. Mm -hmm. Theming way above average. Amazing. Overall. I, I would say a high recommendation. Home run, home also, run. again, a special dietary needs. There oh, are a ton of options we didn't talk through. Mm -hmm. A lot of people on social media are sharing their different options. So know that whether you're gluten-free, dairy-free, have allergies like Brandon, or you're vegan, space, there are space allergies. space allergies. There's a ton of different options. Um, so just talk through that with the restaurant. They seem to be taking that into consideration and in mind, which is really good. Um, but I want to go back again. And I see why it's taken us seven months to get reservations to come here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So a lot of fun. Yeah, so All hopefully right. we'll be able to come back a little yep. bit sooner than seven months from now. Yeah. But overall, super excited with the Exciting. experience, had a great time, yep. and we're gonna space travel home now. Yep. So with that, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon, on Space Patreon. You guys <laughs> are amazing. Thank you to our space subscribers. Hit the space thumbs up. Leave a space comment. Oh um, my Leave a gosh. comment. What is your favorite science fiction film? And tell or us what space it, themed space film. themed film. And tell us why it's either Alien or 2001 Space <laughs> Odyssey. But um, no, no. Um, leave a comment. What's your favorite film? Have you been to uh, 2001? Have you been to Space 2020? Um, do you want to go? Um, do you not want to go? Yeah. Or um, if you've been, what, what did you, you enjoy yeah. while did you were you enjoy here? It? Or if we come back again, what should we try yeah. that we didn't get this time? So yeah, but other than that, we're going to get our Earth legs back um, because I mean we had gravity up there; it's kind of rotating and everything. But still, you know, we got to <laughs> just grow like custom. When, when we're on the cruise, we get dock rock yeah. at the end, so yeah. we're getting space rock. We're, so, we're back on land. But with that, we are heading home. Yeah, we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.